good. He's killing the snake. Oh my god. He's beating the snake. Yeah. Oops, the snake is jumping. Oh my god. <laughs> we got it in the car. Hello. some local bazaar now it looks like in Turkey selling different things actually this thing's also in Turkey traditional it's like for making tea or coffee very ancient style bags I think actually they bring everything from Turkey and a lot of Turkish tourists here you can see Welcome to Bosnia I'm now in Sarajevo I decided to buy ice cream They have different flavors It's actually very delicious I bought three flavors Actually, this ice cream is very delicious. Exactly from this shop. It's called the uh, Yigiba. And it's so delicious ice cream they have. Very sweet. Ice cream is really nice. Super delicious, I think. 
exactly from that shop because I haven't tried in other shops but I think this is the best it's like most famous that shop here uh, like one scoop is very cheap like around 50 cents euros and plus this uh, cone is like 25p look they have another one also here all kinds of flavors This city is now full of people. It's actually like only Thursday. I don't know how come so many people in the street. <laughs> As you see, they have like church here, but mostly you can see mosques. So it's unusual to see church here. Uh, actually, they have different uh, religions here mixed. Like they have synagogue for Jewish people. Then they have like for Christians the church. Uh, also for Muslims. I think mostly here are Muslim people. And there is some concert there. some coffee shop to clean the ice cream from my t-shirt because it's messed up too much uh, who would expect actually I'm not going to have ice cream anymore enough for me uh, you can buy a lot of silver things here it's full of silver jewelry here. We are standing outside the mosque. Uh, this is the local mosque. There is also some mosque, I think. Very like ancient style building. It reminds me Turkey because I think that they have like similar buildings. This area looks actually like a stumble. In the street, lots of uh, shops, different things like souvenirs they sell mostly. And again, it reminds me like Turkish style a lot. <laughs> like ancient something. Magnets. Actually, they make here, I think, these things here. This area exactly reminds me too much of Istanbul. The shops and lots of mosques. The same souvenirs. As you see, lots of jewelry everywhere. Like silver, mostly popular. Not the gold. In this area, uh, you see lots of tea shops. Uh, they drink here tea or coffee also. Oh, look, water pipe. Well, actually, I remember this once. They were in uh, Istanbul, actually. I have one of these. <laughs> All the souvenirs they bring from Turkey. Every single thing what I see here is like imported here. The bags, branded ones, like also. It's like small bazaar of Istanbul. And here are some tourists, not too many, but yeah, you can see. It's like a touristic city. Look at this nice mosque. 
in the old town. Actually, in every corner you can see the mosque, like full of mosques, very old style ones. And uh, that fountain there, that over there you can see, it's like a um, symbol of the city. And it's meeting point here. You can see there are mountains everywhere. Like, everywhere in this country like are mountains and I heard like one week before it was snowing so the weather here can be unexpected mountains everywhere this is a nice place I like it for a few days it's nice to come here and uh, if you are from Turkey or some other countries it's easy because you don't need visa to come if someone wants to go to like UK or Europe it's gonna be more difficult that's why I can see a lot of people from Arab countries or from Turkey this is the place for eating uh, traditional food it's called Chiva Chiva something like that uh, this is a special dish with uh, meatballs inside you can eat here for like cheap money like this 5km is uh, like 250 euros it's like half this country is uh, quite cheap compared to other countries for example Croatia Croatia is more expensive so this is basically some water pipe place for smoking shisha these are the traditional sweets as you see uh, they're like wrap up with uh, it's same thing like in turkey and also halva this one actually a liquid one the same candies oh the same this area even the same like Istanbul uh, it's gonna be interesting for someone who have never been in uh, Turkey or Istanbul but I have been so many times so it's like it's like going back to Turkey look at this nice view uh, on the top there are mountains and even they have houses between those mountains very nice uh, but the only problem is that it's not easy to get uh, down from that mountain because you have to drive and like the roads are not really straight but I guess it's so beautiful view from those houses and this is some building here uh, really I have no idea what kind of building it is but it looks like different something actually I think it's very strange that they have lots of amber here as I know, like uh, in Baltic countries, they have amber, but here I don't know where they get it from. Probably they are buying from there and selling here. And the coffee and tea places again. The souvenirs. It's uh, a lot of things for tourists, like magnets. Look at those things, very sharp. And this actually the symbol of the city, and that thing fountain. So cute spoons. <laughs> There's a lot of fruits, vegetables everywhere, fresh stuff, and the ice cream in every corner. 
everyone eats the ice cream with different flavors. Like one, uh, one of it is like 50p, one ball. Very cheap, I think. The beautiful view behind mosques and this town like Istanbul. There's so many shops for tourists and coffee shops. And this is the main place where people meet normally, like it's a meeting point. And also it's a water fountain. You can get water inside there. How many birds? You know, actually, I'm not feeling very well now because I had like in breakfast something very heavy. It was like a pastry with the with the potatoes inside, and it was like so much oily. Like all pastry they have, it's too much oily. And also had some ice cream. I feel like I need some salad. Really hurting my stomach now. I'm going to buy some water. This is the long street for walking here with lots of shops. It has already different style, you know. Before it was like very old style, and in this side it's like more modern. Yes, this is the Muslim mosque. A nice house in there, actually, with old ones. So this is something special in Sarajevo, like a monument. I actually haven't uh, seen this, you know, I'm possible with that. I didn't look even in the floor. I oh, know, nobody pays attention. Yeah. <laughs> this thing, uh, how you call this? Rocket propel. Yeah. So they still didn't fix it from the time. It was from the war. Isn't it like... Why still they don't fix it? It's long time happened ago. <laughs> okay. 
I'm now in some nice park. There's really nice, I don't know what's that, church or something. Some nice building, like, it's probably like Austrian style. And this nice monument also. There is some crazy guy screaming. He sounds mental. He said, don't make any videos. They're playing some games here. I think it's fun playing the street. I guess this is some church. Yes, there is cross on the top. It's not that usually. Uh, you can see the church. Normally you can see like mosques everywhere. It's amazing, I think. Uh, let me try to find the entrance. I just show you the old town of Sarajevo. And this is the most like touristic place. Even you can see a lot of local people here walking everywhere. Lots of shops like uh, shopping place, for example, for clothes. Like this part is more modern and if you go that way, like there is like all Turkish style. I mean, uh, they have like mixed here, like different religions and uh, even styles, how they build these buildings. Like this part is new, then there is the old part. And uh, everywhere lots of beautiful mountains surrounding the city. You can find everywhere like Maslava, same like in Turkey. Actually, I bought yesterday to try. I think uh, Turkish baklava is the best in the world. You can see their mountain, lots of houses. I'm standing here and behind me this beautiful building uh, I was surprised that this building is actually that Academy of Arts it's not any kind of uh, monument or just I think people just studying there uh, this would be better the symbol because if it would be symbol of the city then uh, it would be like similar to Budapest actually I think it is before coming here to Sarajevo and Bosnia, I didn't have idea what is exactly like Bosnia, 
what is the something very famous about this city. Now at least I know that uh, there is like nice things in the city, like different religions and like different uh, designing of the city. Like one part is like a Turkey, another part is like Austria, because like it's different people were designing the city. And yeah, like I thought before what's the difference between like Bosnia and Montenegro. For me it was like the same thing. Next step, <laughs> I will have to visit uh, Montenegro, neighbor country. Then I will find out what's the difference between all these two countries. This house is totally different. Look. Like very old European style. You know what I have realized? That water is not that dirt actually in the this river because or it's lake because as you see there are mountains and I guess that's why the water is clean. This one is the university. And you know, uh, like, internet here is not the best because I have problem uploading new videos. I guess in uh, Budapest it will be better internet. And those houses are placed on the top in the mountain. I actually like I actually like this bridge. You can see there is uh, like Muslim cemetery. Uh, unfortunately, it's very far from here. That white one. I have a picture yesterday made when I was in that hill I think this city is beautiful when you look in those mountains those built up houses and the old town actually this is my last evening in uh, this beautiful city It's so busy now in the old town. Lots of people, so many tourists. It's about 7 pm. At the hill is like good. Check the streets now. And this is nothing but you can. But you know this this was before people started to drive cars. Yeah. And you know streets are you don't have a place where to make street. Yeah, so it's very small streets. And old houses. Everywhere mountains. Too much bright. I can't really see anything. <laughs> Yeah? That's a view. Okay. Amazing view of Sarajevo. There are lots of houses. Too many people everywhere. Really? Yeah, they are like so small. And look, yeah, there are some high buildings also, a lot. The Muslim cemetery. It's Muslim. Yeah. It's nice, like Brazil, because of those uh, mountains.
want it, so high building. Don't you think so? Rio. Rio de Janeiro. One guy killed three people. Oh, why would he do that? Because of media and everything. President's policy. We have three presidents. Three presidents? Yes. No way. Sure. Seriously? Yeah. Three presidents? Yes. Wow. First Bo time I hear. Bosnian, Serbian and Croatian guy. So it's uh, Bosnian, Serbian, Croatian? Yes. Everyone is in front of one nation, like the people who are living here. So it's the same country then? Yeah. If you have three presidents? It's one country but with three presidents. Wow. Oh, 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 o